usually the companies who produce uh, output, their final production is a combination of work in progress items and, and or those work in progress items are made or assembled by the raw material or individual items that they buy. So for example, uh, we can explain that our finished good, like this is the way that we explain it. It's just a notation that you're learning. Let's call our finished good A. Uh, if this finished good is a composition of two Bs, and these are work in progress. So these are the things that our company assembles before we assemble A and three Cs. And for every B, we will use two Ds and one Es. And for every C, we use one D and two Es, okay? So in real life, when you want to produce A, uh, the question is, you know, the, um, you know, people expect that the operation manager tells them how many Bs are needed, how many Cs are needed, how many Es are needed, how many Ds are needed. And in real life, uh, there are some inventory on hand. So, you know, your warehouse is not totally empty. We have 10 A's on hand and we have 20 B's on hand and 30 C's on hand and we have 40 D's on hand and 50 E's on hand. So the scenario will tell you that we have these. And then also scenario tells you uh, so I suggest you write those things that we have already at the beginning of the story on the left side. Then the question says, we want to sell next week, we want to sell 100 A's. Please tell me what are the production plan? What should we produce? Okay. I suggest you this. You write what is needed at the top of every cell and you write down what needs to be produced below it. So here, how many A's should be produced? 90. Very good. Nice and easy, okay? Now, be very careful and answer me. How many B's are needed if we want to produce 90 A's needed? One hundred and sixty. Uh, you know, for every A that we produce, we need two Bs. So that's one hundred and eighty, but we already yes. have twenty. So one. No, no, that's a different story. What you need is different than what you have to produce. I'm asking you to write what you need at the top of every cell. Okay. How many Cs do we need? Seventy. Need. These are need. This is must be produced. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, one of you told me the answer. What was that? Two seventy. Very good. Now, yes, one hundred eighty bees are needed. But how many will we produce? 160. Yeah. So also I suggest you cross that out because we know that there is no extra in the warehouse. Um, okay, maybe also I change this. Please change this inventory of D. Uh, we have um, 440. Okay. Instead of 40, change it to 440. I want to show you something. Okay. So now, how many C's do we produce? 240. 240. Very good. How many D's do we need? 
Oh, notice that all of this 30 is also used. Okay, how many Ds do we need here? For every B, yeah, uh, 300 and? 20. Yeah, because for every B that we produce, we need two Ds, okay? And how many Ds will we actually produce? Zero. Yeah, we just consume from what we have in the warehouse. And this will end up to be how much in the warehouse? Would be 120 still we have in the warehouse, right? Yes. Okay. How many E's do we need? How many six E written before the E? So is that 50, five zero before the circle? Yes. Okay. How many E's do we need? 160. Very good. And how many E's will we produce? 90. Very good. Well, this 50 is gone. Now, how many D's do we need? 240. How many will we why, produce? Amir? Yes. Why 160 and you only need to produce 90? Should for it be, e, should it be for 110? Because e. 160 oh, minus yes, 50 yes, yes. 110. Yes. Oh, my bad. Yes. Sorry. Who misled me? Yes. You you give one of your Amir dollars to Jacob. who corrected me? Who corrected Jacob. me? Jacob. Jacob. Jacob, I love you. I love you, Jacob. Really? Okay. <laughs> so um yes, where uh, where were we? Yeah, so 240. How many E's do we need? And we haven't finished the D. D, okay. How many Ds will we produce? 240. No, notice that we have 120 in the warehouse. So we will consume that and we will just produce 120. Now, how many Es do we need? 480. Very good. How many Es do we have in the warehouse? Nothing. Nothing. So we produce 480. So our plan is this. We will produce A, 90 unit. We will produce B, 160 units. We will produce C. Notice that this is what I'm showing you is very similar to your final exam. C is easy. We will produce 240. D is a little bit tricky, which will happen in your exam. The total D would be the sum of this and this, which is 120, and the production of E will be how much? How many E's 90. will? 590. 590. Okay, so we have A, we have B, because it is one, we don't have to write it, C is two, D, and for every C, we need one B. Now I give you some inventory on hand. You remember that we write on hand inventory on the left side. This is my suggested methodology. So 10 on hand, and then here we have 20 on hand. So now we are using that bill of material. It's a product that is a composition of B, C, D. And we want to find out how much of each product we have to produce, uh, regardless of the timing. What is What are we going to do today is that we are going to add the domain of time to the story. This uh, bill of material is uh, time independent. It's uh, basically, it just tells us how much we should produce, but it doesn't tell us when should we produce and what this is what we are going to do, okay? So let's say we want to produce 100A, okay? Now, uh, we want to sell 100As. We, we, we have to have 100As. And then in these locations, below every circle, I told you, you write how much we need to produce. How much do we need to produce? 90. 90. Very good. 
How many bees do we need? 180. Why 180? B is just yep. one. Yeah. So how many bees do we need to produce 90, 90 A's? 90. 90. Very good. 70 on hand. So basically I have to take this 50 and add it here if I have 70 on hand. Therefore, how many bees I have to produce? 20. 20. Very good. Uh, how many C's do we need? 180. How many we have to produce? 150. 150. Uh, how many B's do we need? 150. How many should we produce? 150. Yeah, because we consumed all of that. If there was some left over, then it might change. How many D's do we need? 90. How many should we produce? 50. Very. 